Hello everyone. Welcome to your past tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about remove data column activity using data table activities. First of all, we will see the scenario and then we will work with the UI path related to remove data column activity. Okay. Now, if you see on my screen that I'm having student details like student name, class and subjects which we have, right? Now, by using Excel application scope and by using read range activity, we are going to store this entire data into the data table. Once this data has been stored into the data table, if I want to remove any data column, how can I go ahead and delete that? Let us assume I want to delete the class from the data table. It don't want to affect any kind of Excel, right? It don't want to change any kind of uh, deleting the data or deleting the column from the Excel. But I want to delete from the data table and then I want to store or I want to store this data in another Excel. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me switch to your path studio. I have created the name with the sequence remove data column. And if you see, I'm going to read the data from the student mask data dot Excel file by using Excel application scope. And then by using read range activity, I'm going to store the output in the data table. Now, our main agenda is that from this data table, how can I go ahead and remove the column, remove the data column. So let me go to the activities. Let me search for remove data column. You can find it over here. Where you can find that under programming, under data table, you will find remove data column. Let's drag and drop onto the panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties of this remove data column activity. If you see the properties, we are having three inputs we are having. That is one column, column index and column name. Now we are going to work with column name and column index. Later in the upcoming sessions, I will explain you how to work with the column. Okay. Now if you see, first of all, we'll see with the column index. Now let me go back to my Excel. If you see how it will be storing in the data table format in the same format, the data table, we can't see it, right? So that I'm showing in the Excel. So I'm going to work with the column index. So each and every column, with the starts, the column will be starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. If you want to remove the particular column based on the index, so that you can go ahead and delete the column based on the index. Now, if you see the index of the student name is 0, and the class is 1. Now, I want to delete this class from the sheet 1. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, I'm going to give the column index over here as 1. And then the data table, what is the output? What is the input over here? Is the output from the read range, right? Now for the read range, what is the output? That is var data table. This is the input for the var data table. Okay, this is the input for remove data column activity. All right. Now if you see again, I have given column index, but not the column name. If it will be only out of this three column or column index or column name, only one will be accepted at a time. Okay, now by default, this is the data table, which we are going to give it as the input. That's what we got it from the data read range activity. Okay, now we have removed the column with the column index one from the var data table, that is data table. Now somewhere I have to write the data. How can I go ahead and write the data? As a practice that we are having write range activity right right range activity let me drag and drop onto the panel and i'm going to give the sheet as sheet 3 and starting cell is a1 and the data table what is the data table that we have what is the uh, input we have modified over here right the var data table that is the same thing that i'm going to give it over here var data table right when you are going to work with the right range Options add header has to be mandatory. You have to check it as the best practice. Now, let me go to my Excel. You can see there is no sheet 3. Let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now, if you observe, see sheet 3 is over here, but index of the class is 1. So that the remove data column, by using remove data column activity, we have removed that column and we have written the output over here. Can you see that, right? If you see again, sheet one having class one, 
shade 3 don't have the class this is how we are going to use to delete the column by using column index by using remove data column activity now we are going to work on the same remove data column activity by using column name now how can i go ahead and do that let us assume from the sheet one itself i want to remove english so the column previously we have seen based on the index right now i'm going to delete based on the column name so in the data table it will be stored in the same format like student name class hindi and the respective subjects in the columns format so that i'm going to delete the same way how can i go ahead and do that based on the column name i'm going to give the value over here english but if you observe no i can't give it all at a time right so that i'm going to delete this column index and then i'm going to save the bot now if you see i'm going to clear this excel first and then let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you observe in the sheet 3 previously we have deleted class but uh, you know again when i'm going to execute i have removed english is the subject based on the column name you can see the english name which i have given that column is not available in the sheet 3 this is how we are going to remove data column from the data table by using remove data column activity thank you for watching uipath tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.